After two homicides yesterday, both within the city of Cincinnati, street advocates spent today looking for answers. As our local 12's Brad Underwood reports, the call for compassion is being made once again. Stop the killing. Stop the killing. Stop the killing. We've heard the chants for years on Cincinnati's streets, but who's listening? They want to grow up. Clearly not the right people. Three shootings on Saturday, two dead. We had to get people accountable for what they do. And so you need to see the pain that you cause in the community with these mothers and parents who have lost uh, loved ones to gun violence. On Dale Avenue in Bond Hill, two women were shot while in a car. 19-year-old Paris Hummins died. The second victim is expected to be okay. Their families weren't at the corner Sunday, but other mothers and fathers of murdered sons were. It ain't an easy road. Um, it's a long and it's a hard road of grieving and it's something that I'll never get over and it's something that they will never, ever, you know, get over. Carl Netta Flagg Miles' son, Charles Flagg, was murdered six months ago. Three weeks before that killing, Charles Murph was shot after he opened up the door to his home. It hurt me every day. I cry every day. I go talk to the floor where he fell at down in my living room and ask why. He was an angel. Murph's parents were upstairs when their son was killed. And when I came down, he was shot in the face. He was 18 years old. He had just graduated from high school. Award. I was about to go to college. Sharon Lamb walks with the group. Her son was murdered in 2013. Unlike the Murph and flag homicides, Lamb's son's killer was caught. Together we can make it through it. And that's why I come out here on these walks to show support and try and help the mothers to uh, get, get past it. You, we'll never get over it, just get past it. In Bond Hill, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News.